Hello friends, and thanks for jumping back on the road to Calvary with me, Miss Laura. If you remember, two days ago, we learned that Judas was going to betray Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. And then yesterday, we learned how he did that. He gathered a big group of people and he met Jesus and Jesus' disciples where he knew Jesus would be. That's how he betrayed him. But now, what is going to happen? Jesus, they said, we're looking for Jesus. And he said, I am Jesus. What next? Let's find out. We're going to take our Bibles and we're going to open them to Matthew. Let me just double check here. Matthew 26 so that we can read verses 51 and 52. Are you ready? Me too. So Matthew 26, 51 and 52 says this. And behold, one of those who were with Jesus, so one of Jesus' disciples, stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, put back your sword, put it back in its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Hmm. Can you guess what we're going to see, what the item is that we're going to see as we look around Calvary today? That's right, it's Peter's sword. When Jesus was being captured in the Garden of Gethsemane, Peter pulled out a sword to defend his master. And most of us would think that that was a pretty brave thing he did. Today, if we, if we fast forward to the future, back then they had swords, today they have guns. Today he might have pulled out a gun. Oh no, Jesus told him not to do that. He said, put that sword away. People can get hurt when weapons are used, he said. People can die. Peter would have to find a better way to be a friend of Jesus. There are better ways. We can find them too. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, you suffered all that punishment so that we would be free. Help us especially to be free from feeling like we have to get even. In your name we pray, the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Amen. We can learn a good lesson from today, right? Yes, we don't need to try to get even, right? Now, we wouldn't use a sword or a gun, no, but we might do something that's kind of not nice in a different way, right? To get even with somebody. Somebody's playing with a toy, they take it from us. We take something that they're playing with later to get even. Yeah, Jesus says don't do that. And we should listen to that, right? Mm-hmm, for sure. You know what, friends? I'm already so excited. I was able to peek out what tomorrow's is. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek too. Are you ready? I'm gonna put it close. <gasps> a rope. That's right. We're gonna meet tomorrow and we're gonna learn a little bit more about a rope. Hmm. I wonder if they're still in the garden or if they're somewhere else tomorrow. We'll have to come back and see. I love you so much, my friends, and I'll meet you back here tomorrow. Bye.